This is October the 9th, 2023, and we're going up Indian Creek. We're going deer hunting today. And I just turned the camera on. We're going up above Indian Creek over these rocky, rocky roads. Hopefully we'll see a, a deer today. Love to see some antelope. We saw some wild horses already. You might see a uh, bighorn sheep too. It snowed real hard uh, a few days ago. I guess it was a weekend ago, wasn't it? Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Larry's with me today. And we're it was that, church. That's why you were gone. Then. Yeah, that was over the weekend I was gone for. in Bakersfield, but out in the whole river, it just rained a little bit. There's a lot of deer in these canyons. My son Jimmy came up here with me. We didn't see a deer one. Didn't see an antelope. And this is the first time I haven't seen an antelope. That time we didn't either, but this is the first time I haven't seen an antelope. Along with that time. This road's not as smooth as the yeah. going up the trail canyon. A couple of years ago they like I said, there was four antelope in the next door to me. What's that? A couple of years ago, they were... Oh, yeah, they're right. They come in my yard. There comes something up there. What? Here comes some kind of a vehicle. Oh. X9C? Yes. Coming up? Yep. Yeah. I've got one right now. What? I got a tag right now. But it doesn't start. Next right? two days. It's got two days to this today and tomorrow to go. Oh really? Yeah. Oh but are you no you're hunting Nevada, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's different. I'm out of I got Well I got one of the I got one from California too. Oh do you? Yeah. Oh you got some special one? Yeah. Is that your camp back up in there? No. There's a wall tent. Oh, what's that? A wall tent way at the very end. Yeah, there's a camp up there. And uh, about two tents. Yeah. Up by the aspen trees. Yeah. I took a couple hikes. Yeah. I saw one big track, but I didn't see nothing. One, one, one big track? Yeah. A deer track? Yeah. We went up here on opening day in September and didn't see, a, well, I saw horses. But yeah. I got a lion tag. I got... Uh, a deer tag, mm -hmm. and and everything. I don't really live down there. Where, if you look down there, where that blue roof is, is where oh, I live. Really? This is my front yard. Cool. <laughs> where do you live in Bishop? Uh, I live in West Bishop. Yeah. Yeah. My wife's born and raised there. We, she, she's. Lasaggy. What was her name? Lasaggy was her last name. What was it? Lasaggy. Yeah. Her dad was a sheep herder back in the olden days. Oh yeah. She's Basque. Yeah, I usually hunt 
there's some horses right there. Yeah, there's some right down there by the upper I McNabb. Usually have, well, I don't get an A or B tag anymore, so I end up hunting D7. I got a second tag for D7. I got <coughs> Over hike. there by Greenhorn? Huh? Greenhorn? No, D7. I got to go clear. I got it. Well, for me, I hunt out of Paiute, North Lake, out of Bishop. Yeah. I got to hike 18 miles back. Oh, boy. Clear and back. Yeah. It's a migrational deal. <laughs> well, this is the first tag I got this year really? in 20 years, and I've got a brain tumor. I hurt my foot, my hip, everything <laughs> else, and I've hardly been able to hunt at all. Yeah. And I really can't do much walking right now. Right. Yeah. But I wish I could get one of the little things like you got. Of course, yeah. this one does pretty good, but yep. that rides better than this. This one has decent suspension, but it's not like really great. You know, the high the high tech, it's it's decent, but yeah. My wife has sciatic. She can't ride in it. She oh, would yeah. want to go. She's got the sciatic issue, issue going. Oh, so yeah. she can't ride it. What kind is it? This is a Polaris. Polaris. Yeah, yeah it does pretty good. But you got to be careful. Like, there's that one spot. Have you been to the top yet? Well, I was up there. That muddy spot. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Where it's muddy in there mm -hmm. on the road. I had to go off in the brush because I was just. And if it turns too much and you fall in the in the crevice because this thing's small, you'll tip over. Yeah. So I just rode out in the bushes and came around it. Yeah. It's How far up there is that now? Huh? Where that is? It's pretty far up there. It's yeah. almost to the it's... top. You'll, have, you... have you been up Lighty Creek? No. You haven't been up Lighty? No. Yeah. That's that one over there. And this one? Yeah, I'm still, I just, this is my first. There we go. Yeah. Now it's on. Good country. You think you'd see one running out there? They yeah, you think so. Well, a couple years ago there were. I found a big horn sheep horn right down here. Yeah. Skull. Of course, probably the lion killed it. Somebody's campsite. Mm -hmm. Somebody's been cutting wood right here. Yeah, fire for their yeah. campfire over here. Don't look like that was dead. There's some beautiful places in here. I can't remember what it's this one up. Way up on Lighty Creek up there, there's a crystal cone pine. Yeah. It's standing out there by itself. It's a young one, probably three or four hundred years old, maybe a thousand. <laughs> not not real old, you know. Yeah. They're four or five thousand years old. What that Davis Canyon up there, that road is tore up. It's five foot deep washes. But I used to drive through that all the time. That was a piece of candy. Yeah. For me a long time ago. Not anymore. I've only been stuck once in the mountains. And I got out then. Young enough, you could probably walk back. <laughs> What's that? I said maybe back in the days when you're young enough, you could walk out. Yeah. I walk 20, 30, 40 miles at a time. 20 miles almost always. Up to 40, sometimes almost 50. Now we're going to cross this big creek up here. That creek's getting with it. This is like going up Wyman Canyon. Need some air right seats. What's that? Need some air right seats in it. <laughs> seats will go up and down, you know, air right. That creek's uh, making new pathways. Gives us a deer. 
deer gives himself to us. Yeah. This is more more water than it was earlier. Yeah. Well, that that snow and then they put that. Uh, it's been warm the last four or five days. It's yeah. Warm, so I didn't put the milk to them. a big rock in here. Mm -hmm. Tear up the tar one. Maybe it over there. See, there's lots of water. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I told you. <laughs> Creek running over. This is wild country here. Huh? This is wild country. Yeah. I got some wild olives. That's a, that one there may be a wild uh, apple. It's pretty in here. Look in there. Yeah. I wanted you to see this. Well, I should say we'll show you. It's real bad right in here. Road caved off, see that? Great big mm -hmm. trees in there, those great big uh, bark, birch bark trees. this all the time in the middle of the winter at night time. Yeah. It's smoother. Yeah, <laughs> it's smoother. A little softer. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Smoother. Got to put a snow on or so. These are wild olives or uh -huh. apple trees, one or the other. There's the glass right in here. Flats. It's just flat. kind of flat in here. And I took my pickup way back up in here, but it's a little wider. National Forest. Uh -oh. 
the right and the left fork. Get out of bed tomorrow. <laughs> get what? May not be able to get out of bed tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. It's pretty in here. I want to show you this. It's pretty both directions. There's a mine up there. Yeah. That I, I can't remember the name of what the guy said we walked on. Green Monster or something like that? Yeah. Green Monster Mine or something. over here? No, just one. Just one. You know, that green monster mine that road was better than this one, but this year it's bad. It's worse than this. But this is bad. <laughs> I like going up. Side on the transfer case for four wheel drive. And yeah. It's also got a granny gear on the transmission. Yeah. I'll tell you what, this thing's got so low gear in it, you could walk faster than it. I'm in second low right now. Yeah. Like this country? Yeah. Isn't that pretty? I used to carry a chainsaw with me because these trees fall down in the road behind you, you know, yeah. in the winter time. Dad. There's a lot of roses. Yeah. I got those myself. <laughs> huh? I have those too. Oh, yeah. Well, that's got a lot of rose hips on them. Tea out of those? Yo, it's good. I don't, I gave you some one time, didn't I? Then I make you some rose hip tea? I don't think so. The other stuff that, that's that's Indian tea right there. What? Right there, that's Indian tea right there. You can mix that two together, it's really good. Yes, I ought to put a, a scope set right down on the floor. Uh -huh. Turn that thing. 
thing over. Yeah. Yeah. I guess I ought to put a pad in there so it don't get on the side yeah. of it. I need to put a, uh, just in case I see something, I need to put a uh, primer in it. It's already loaded? That's loaded. Yeah. Just don't bump that hammer. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> it's loud and yeah. noisy. Can you hold it like that a little bit? And smoky? Huh? And smoky? Yeah, well, that's smokeless. Don't smokeless smoke powder. Okay. Smokeless, kind of smokeless. Uh, it's semi smokeless smoke uh, uh, black powder. Yeah. What is that one? Like a cow over there. Triple seven or something. Looked like a black cow over there. Yeah. There's there. some cows in here. Across another creek right here. Right down there. Hey, you wouldn't wanna. <laughs> we'll turn around up here and maybe go up the other canyon. This is a whole lot like a. Um, Like Whitey Creek. Is that the one the pond's on there? What's that? Where's the... Which, which <laughs> What's that? The one... Oh! The, uh... The pond, that... Oh, the pond is Trail Canyon. Trail Canyon? Yeah. Where, we went by a pond up here, actually. Yeah. We didn't see it, but it was there. Oh, there it is. Turn around up here. It gets a little better. It gets a tiny bit better. You can turn this thing around any place on the Yeah, see I know, some, but see something. Huh? I don't know what I can do something. Yeah, like that's what that. I mean. You know. My foot is so bad. It's just my. I mean, if you no, went, if first, you went down, you could holler, but I couldn't come and get. I know it. it. <laughs> Mine, you could drive. Yeah, the drive over. I got up there the other day and I couldn't walk. Yeah. I just, I just stepped wrong and I could not walk, at all. It was terrible. I didn't think I was 50 foot from the truck. I didn't think I was going to get to the truck. Yeah. I didn't think I was going to get to it. Look at that cactus up here. We're about 8,000 feet or so. Yeah. See, there's that Indian tea there. Yeah. That's, That's good what? for cleansing your blood. What is it? Indian tea. You have to show me they that. They call it Mormon tea. Okay. It's right there, too. See the green? The green part? Right, right there. Right there. Okay. That's tea. Okay. So you just... Put it in the pot and boil it down. Huh? Yeah, just boil it. You have to boil it a while. It's it's kind of green, greenish color.
goes quite on the way up there. stood out there on the side of the hill up there and it fell down on the road. <laughs> I had them do that. I had one of them up on the side of a hill, a real tall hill, and I shot him. He jumped out in the air and I shot him in the air and he went all the way over the road down about a thousand feet down this canyon. Yeah. That was not easy. That was on top of the ranch. Sun shot one and it almost fell in the back of the pickup. Oh. That's the kind of shot. He yeah. said, Boy, I'm best shot that. <laughs> Yours fell down in the canyon, mine fell in the truck. It was at the back at the tailgate. Yeah. We had to didn't have to move the truck. Just pick the deer up and put it in the bed of the truck. <laughs> You won't fall asleep on this ride. Well, I used to fall asleep driving. I'd be out working all night long in the oil fields and go to go to the mountains when I got home. I bet that water's nice and cold. put their beer in there to get it cold. Yeah. They do the same thing with milk and, yeah. and coke. Because <laughs> I used to do that. Put the bubble up in there. Yeah. And milk and cheese and butter. And tie ham up in the tree. Tie a ham up in yeah. the tree. And cactus get started about seven or eight thousand feet. I don't have a altimeter in this thing. I do in the pickup. <laughs> they 
they're little wild apple trees. They got little bitty apples on them. They do. It's a lot of them hit you. Got that big rock in the road down here someplace. You'd think that the place would be loaded with deer. It used to be. Yeah. Yeah, they may be up and I cut down about three of them, a hundred of them, but these lions have done a lot more damage than I did. Yeah. That's that Indian tea. That's good looking. Jeep have drum brakes on it. Yeah. This got disc brakes all the way around it. Yeah. Should put at least they should get them put. You can get them put on. Should get them put on. Yeah. At least the front. Those drum brakes get wet. You can't stop. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the old Jeep. You didn't stop very well anyway. Yeah. I had two cords of oak firewood on my Jeep pickup one time. I had this one ton Jeep pickup. I was going down Eugene grade and it was like this nine miles like that. <laughs> and my brake line broke. I had Larry Brown with me and I hit the floor with those brakes. He said, Jim, don't be kidding. I said, Larry, I'm not kidding. We have no brakes. He said, you gotta be kidding. I said, no, we have no brakes. I blew the front line out the flex line, you know. You grab a lower gear. Yeah, I grabbed the lower gear and I stayed there. <laughs> I had to grab one though, boy. I, I didn't know what was going to make it or not. I didn't want to have it in the... Uh, I put it in... I had, it had two stick shifts down there. Yeah. And I had low range and high range and then four wheel drive. Yeah. Well, originally you couldn't put it in four wheel drive until you put it in low range. Well... I took that pin out of there. Yeah. So I could go from high to low range without putting in four wheel drive. It's because I wanted the rear wheels to skid, not the front ones. Yeah. I figured I'd turn it over. And I slammed that thing in there in low gear. And it went like this, boy, just like that. <laughs> boy, he said, you're a good driver. <laughs> and we drove all the way to Glenville, California. I went out there and there was an old, uh, rear end laying out there with a the flex hose on it. I went up there and got it. I started to put a, a BB in the, in the line, just take it off and put a BB in it, you know? Yeah. But uh, I found that flex line. I drained drained the brakes, bled, bled the brakes on it, made it home. I cut all brand new lines on that thing after that. Yeah. It was, I think that's about 60 something. Yeah, the last time I went to Colorado, I got a nice buck. You had what? Got a nice buck. Yeah. And the thing is, everybody, you know, come in, like the, like the lowlands here in the hills, and they go up, way up the mountain, they camp up there, you know. You stay that's down what, low? Well, we camped up high, but that's just, in the morning when the season opens, I said, I want to go down low there. Because yeah. I stopped there and looked around, there was a lot of track coming through there. Oh, yeah. That's when I get that one bug. Sometimes you don't have to go where everybody else is going to get yeah. one. Well, I used to be up in the woods so many, I know where the deer were. Yeah. I know where they are up in Trail Canyon. If I was in better shape, I'd have gone up there and stayed all night on opening day, you know. Yeah. I know where the trails are. So you don't have to wear, wear uh, any uh, orange or anything? No. During, during uh, 
black powder? No. I don't think you have to wear it during the deer season up here. I know California you have to. But you do? Yeah. It used to be the deal. You they did for a while, but I think they waived that. Mm -hmm. I think this is what the road slips. That goes up there at the Green Monster Mine. Yeah. Mm. That road's rough. Is it? It was a lot better than this one. A lot of times the deer just run out there right by you, you know. Yeah. A lot of deer out there. Maybe some big ones. Probably work records in size, you know. Yeah. The horns, too, I guess. I never paid any attention to horns. <laughs> I killed a lot of big deer. Two yeah. ropes cut off. Depends if you're coming down here or going up here. <laughs> Thank you. See one out here grazing around somewhere. I ever had a little Jeep. Yeah. It's had Jeep pickups. Yeah, I'll tell you that close. little too home I took the truck I had years ago. That thing is good as any Jeep. Just little, you know. Yeah. That one had a four cylinder five speed. But that thing was really I drove up here in the middle of the winter time. It was light too real life. What are these trees right here, that green? Here? Yeah. Those are birch. Okay. They're big birch trees in here. There's some down there by me. In yeah, the you got birch trees down there, so do I. But not this big. Well, yeah. you've got some, there's some fairly good size on your place. Looks like they die back quite a bit, though. They die off all the time. They, they only live so long and they die. Well, I've got a lot of, I don't know, they're dropping some uh, uh, sap. Those uh, willows. Willows. Yeah, they're losing their leaves already. You got sap on them. The bugs on them. Yeah. I don't know they cut a dead limb out of there and man, start killing all these bugs buzzing me. Got orange stuff, orange stuff all over me. <laughs> Arm and stuff. Yeah. Except well, that camera's me. staying on for a while this time. Yeah. You hit that big rock down there. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> That'd be a thing to do. Uh, I usually yeah, get out and throw them rocks out of the road. Yeah. Barely got room to get in between those two.
We were probably up eight or nine thousand feet. Yeah. I got, I got a I got a Muncie four speed with a transfer case on it. It's got the two shifters on it. Yeah. This is a nice drive today if we don't get anything. Yeah. I get to take my real rifle with me the next season. Yeah. Where is it? Huh? Is that the one for the rifle? Is that uh, in California? Yeah. We were in California a while ago. So you really couldn't have shot one up there, can you? Well, it's black powder. Yeah. I don't know who's going to watch you. Yeah, no, no, no <laughs> I don't think there's any. The deer didn't say I'm in California or Nevada. No. I don't think there would be any. The line, you know. I don't think there'd be any ga game wardens up there cruising around. Nobody's going to bother you up here. Those roads. Even if they were here, they probably wouldn't bother you. If I saw a deer over there, I'd just let it go. Yeah. <laughs> I couldn't get it back. Yep. Take a picture of it, maybe. <laughs> I got that winch on the front of this thing. I can winch one up a hill or something. Yeah. I've never even used it. Have you used your winch? Yeah, I've used it. Pulling out stuff. Yeah. Huh? Pulling stuff out. there. Yeah. Callous up. Yeah, I got that around the house there. down the handle was beating, beating against my knee. Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of gold and silver up in these hills. Yeah. I know some of those rocks we had there that I picked up had gold and silver out. Road that hit that guy was worried about. Gotta get down there. What's that? Yeah, almost. They wanna get some of them big rocks and get some way of crushing them up and start trying to work the gold out of them. There's a place up there. Huh? There's a place up Wyman Canyon back up in Crooked Creek back there and down into the Eva Belmont. Yeah. That ore is 20, 20 ounces of gold 
plus silver and platinum per ton. Yeah. I had it assayed. Are they mining it? No. Okay. Larry Atkinson had the, the claim on it. Yeah. He used it to mine investors. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it was a good, good investment. But he never, as far as I know, they went in there and they'd plow the road every year and dump it out. As far as I know, they never took anything out. Right off or something. And I just use it for a, a gimmick, you know. Yeah. Like it's salt in the mine, but it wasn't salted, it was real. Yeah. It was a real deal. David's Creek. Washed the road out down the road up there, Davis Canyon. Yeah. It just washed it out. Here we go. Right down the road. be some deer down in here. Of course there's food everywhere for them, you know. Yeah. They got so much food this year. They can go where they want to. Yeah. It's sitting up there where they can roll in the snow. Yeah. Some snowballs. <laughs> Somebody had a fence along there for time. Oh yeah. Well there's a cattle guard here. that cattle guard in a few minutes. That'll be a rushing and roaring creek right here. Yeah. I remember when it, in the dry years it would be running but it wouldn't be real roaring you know. Yeah. You could almost walk to it. Stepping from stone to stone. Just on the other side here is where the mm -hmm. cattle guard is. years ago Marilyn waited right here for me I walked way up the road I'd walk up I'd leave her and I walk way up the road when's the last time you killed a deer me yeah. been a long time ago That's a tribal hunter, I think. Maybe on Tahoe Ranch, though. Yeah. I can't remember. Maybe Tahoe. Probably 20 years ago, though. Yeah, it's been a while for me, too. By the time I was uh, 16 years old or 12 years old, so I was 40, I killed a lot of deer. <laughs> I think 385 or something like that. That's a lot of deer. Yeah. 300 up, up here, about 85 on Cone Ranch, I think. I killed, you know, here I killed like 50 deer a year or something. Yeah. Or more. The last time I killed one, I guess, it's probably been 14, at least 14 or 15 years ago. Oh, yeah. About like me, huh? Yeah. I just raised in Dakota. 
and on that farm, that farm took up all of my truck, all of my time, as you can see. Yeah. I never had time, and then I had cancer. You know, the cancer knocked my wind out of myself totally. Well, when I was younger, you know, I was not even. That was 22 years ago. Some of them are a little older, you know, guys, and I'd help them out. You can't get hard to find anybody, young guys wanting to help me with old guys. You know? No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get outside here for a minute. Turn that on again. Years ago, you'd see them walking all around here like this. I, I'm pretty sure the lions have cut down on them a lot because they've been feed for them all the time, you know. Yeah. They got plenty of feed up here. Well, would you shoot one if you see one? What? A lion. If I saw one, I'll shoot it. Definitely. I got a lion.